in this video i'm going to be talking much extensively on lease and finance it's a strategic way of financing both in the short term or in the long term it's a financial management strategic tool called leasing and i'm going to be doing justice to that basically in finance we are talking about equity finance or debt financing basically if you don't finance by equity you finance by debt so leasing is a form of debt financing in the financial world so the essence of leasing is to ensure maybe in the short while as an organization we observe that we may not have enough money to purchase the item that is one two is possible that even purchasing the item does not really make sense there are some times that outright purchase of an asset does not make sense for example if an item to be purchased really have a risk of obsolescence that is it can easily it can easily wane as per technology it, latest technology can make it to become obsolete and the like especially if we are in a organization that must be technological compliant and the like so listen may save us out and maybe a big option for us in debt financing okay having established some reasons we could finance we could finance by leasing and that lease is a form of debt financing now a company hiring the assets is called the lease lease and the company or the individual that is actually leasing out is called the lessor i told us i'm going to do a bit of justice to lease so please we are going to take a bit of time to ensure that we get things right for strategic financial management and for anything on the finance that relates to leasing i will trash as many as possible out. I hope we are ready for that and we may be hearing some sound please 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 bear with me for now there is an alarm sound for for fire it's a fire alarm sound but the battery is actually weak and uh, we're searching for the battery that is why it's making that haunting okay having said that in corporate finance we are concerned with the recent a company use list some of which i've mentioned and how to evaluate whether the list listing is an attractive or is not we need to weigh the option is is listing really a good option for us or not maybe we should have purchased it purchased it outrightly or not and as we continue we are going to the difference even between lease and higher pushes so with leasing when we are talking about leasing the lease actually obtain the use of the assets for a period of time with legal ownership of the lease assets still remaining with the lessor I hope you remember who a lesser is the person that actually gave us that equipment to use for a while okay so leases now can actually be classified basically into two broad groups according to ifrs 16. when we are talking about lease if it's not operating lease 
is going to be finance list. If it's not an operating list, it's going to be finance list. So a list is then classified as a finance list if, if the tr it transfers, that is the agreement transfers substantially all the risk and the rewards associated or incidental to the ownership of that particular asset. So the substantial risk and the substantial reward must both be transferred to the person called the lessee, the person that wants to be using it temporarily for now. If these two conditions were not met, then it's an operating lease. If the agreement does not transfer substantially the risk and the reward incidental to the ownership of that underlying asset, according to IFRS 16, then we can say it's an operating lease. So, an example of situation that individually or in combination will normally lead to a lease being classified as finance lease. One is the lease transfers ownership of the assets to the leasee at the end of the term. Two, the leasee has the option to purchase the assets or the equipment at a price which is expected, of course, to be substantially lower to use it for the best parts of the assets. So at the end, they are expected to buy it with lower amounts of money. At the date, the option becomes exercisable. That is the time they can now buy. And that will soon lead us to the periods in or on the lease. So at the inception of the lease, it is reasonable and it is reasonably certain that that option is going to be exercised. So basically uh, at the time we are starting, we know what we are going into that we may likely buy outrightly this asset long run. Okay. Another thing that we need to look out for is that the lease term is for the majority part of the economic life of the equipment. I've said it a bit. So at the in inception of the lease now, the present value of the minimum lease payment is actually contributing directly to the leased assets via follow payment and last but not the least i'm going to mention under this is that the list assets are of a special nature let's say for example those items that could be obsolete easily and the like and majority of the time though the lease can use them without major modification and major changes being made to them and the like because many times there are new equipment and majority of the time the economic useful life of that asset are actually going to be used up by the lessee now we've classified some important things we need to know about the finance list. What of operating list? So, in essence, rental agreement between the lessor and the lessee in operating lease tends to be reasonable for 
servicing and maintaining the asset on finance list that's the major part of the risk and the rewards will go to the lease reasonable fee rental fee and i like that word it distinguishes renter more or less we we rent it you know when we when we were small we used to we rent a lot of things you rent bicycle for five minutes and the like and you return it okay i think that's a good example for operating this but whereas for the finance list you can use it for 20 years just imagine somebody rented a bicycle for 20 years the major major part of the economic life of the asset has been used up that 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 simply shows us that it tends towards finance risk rather than operating lease. great so in operating lease the lease period is substantially less than the expected economic life of the lease asset just like the especially the boys we rent bicycle five minutes pay little amount and so and you return it so it's not going to your renter is not going to consume the major parts of the life of that particular asset go back to the finance list and divide the lease period basically into two periods we have the primary period and we have the secondary period of lease so what are the things that are going to feature when we are talking about the primary period and the secondary period the primary lease period actually covers most of the expected economic life of that asset that is one it is within this primary period that the lessor now recovers the capital cost of purchase of those assets that we are borrowing see borrowing okay that has been lent to us so it is during the primary period that the lessor will recover his or her money or as a corporate organization, lease organization. They will recover their money back during the primary period, especially the capital cost. So the primary lease period protects the lessor, please don't forget it. It could be technical and tricky in advanced exams in finance especially for those of us that major in finance not accounting no we have in accounting and finance but if you major in finance that aspect that i just touched on could be daunting so the primary lease period protects the lease of it's, it's quite simple and straightforward right because they are going to take an item let's say equipment what millions of your money for the best part of his life definitely you have to recover the money so the first period which we call the primary period is going to take care of you the lease okay then the secondary period is the period after the first of course when the lessee now has the option to continue to hire the asset for a nominal rental fee either indefinitely or for at least the remaining useful life of the assets so and if we've observed especially for those of us that are working in banking institutions like there could be some rental payment schedule and the like and we will see that by the time we it's it tips it tips down it tips down in in star so because it becomes nominal 
it becomes less fee to be paid as the years go by. So the secondary period basically is the period that protects the lessee now and basically nominal be indefinitely or the lesser is reasonable enough can just pay maybe some few amounts and take over completely the assets as the owner so the secondary lease period protects the leasee because it protects the leasee's right to carry on using the asset after the primary period and it is during the secondary period that we can discuss we want to buy outrightly so we are now going to go into why lease the advantages of lease and if you are just joining us on GGM's associates channel please like this video if you've enjoyed value for your time and click subscription and look for that bell and click all because when you click all is then you will not be missing out anytime we upload so it's important you click that all is good that you click like to encourage us so that algorithm will redistribute to many people so we can reach out to more people and if you have any questions please you can email the email is always in the description and you have a lot of other information to contact me first of all lease as tax advantages because of the deductibility of the finance cost the costs of the lease the interest you pay on that lease is tax deductible so that means you you've saved money from giving it out to government by leasing and that is why even some organizations that could actually buy outrightly we go for lease whether operating lease or finance lease to ensure that they take and maximize the tax advantage of lease so to lease is a source of finance like i said when we are starting so it could be in form of short resolution to short liquidity issues that organizations may have also maybe the organization does not have security or collateral to borrow especially for small medium enterprise the banks are not ready to lend loan then we can go to finance we can go to finance house in form of lease house and just list the equipment we, we need that is what they are doing they are going to lend it out to us as against bank asking us for security to borrow from them which we may not have so it takes care of our tax advantages it takes care of a liquidity issue and the requirement to borrow from financial institution so it's equally is a way to deal with assets that can easily become obsolete especially for the technological survey organizations we need to always use the latest if not one thing or the other may not work well as we intended in that organization so it is good that we we go for lease rather than outright portion